Stop the violence. Use your talent. Stop the violence. Use your talent. From one heart to another, I lost two brothers. I had to brace myself for that devastating news, that senseless act of violence. Thank you for tuning in to the Stop the Violence, Use Your Talents TV show. This is your host, Jornado, and this show, as again, is a rewind edition while we're working on our new shows that will be upcoming soon. We're spotlighting another individual in my family the reason why we started to stop the violence is your talents, the T Foundation, and well as continuing on to push being useful, never giving in with Bungie. Again, my brother, Thomas Eugene Abrams Jr., is the individual that we're spotlighting in this particular show. Again, this is a rewind edition. There's more information that's going to be coming up in upcoming shows. I hope that you're paying attention. I hope that if there's any information that you have, that you would contact your local officials. Also, there's other information throughout the show. I'll be coming in and out of the show so you'll see me. Hey, stop the violence and use your talents. Stop the violence. My name is Beverly McLean. I'm asking you to stop the violence and use your talents. Stop the violence. Use your talents, y'all. Let this be your anthem. Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida, the jungle, where I'm from. This is Tornado, and this is my story. Gene is my brother. Born Thomas Eugene Abrams Jr. on October the 4th, 1972. Known as Psycho. Psycho Man. Stage name Psycho Versatile. If you've seen him in the street, Slick G Baby. Hey Baby. Gone. Last I heard from him was February 25th, 2004. I was told he was kidnapped, tortured, murdered in a house that was burned down when we later found out and he was placed in the trunk of his car and taken to a local park close by to that house. It was devastating. We looked for him for three days. We finally found him. He left a daughter and a son, Thomas Eugene Abrams Jr., my brother, slain, placed in the trunk of his car, the car that I gave him. He was supposed to be to the studio, yet the promotion for his album ended up turning into a promotion to help solve his murder with billboards, newspaper articles, news interviews, and documentaries such as this. My son was brutally murdered on February 25th of 2004. Uh, my son was tortured before his murder. He was shot multiple times. There were anywhere from five to six people that were involved. One person has been sentenced and convicted uh, for his murder, which he has life, two life sentences, one for second degree murder and one for torture. So he has never seen the light of day. Um, there are four others that we know of that um, we are still trying to get um, convicted and sentenced. My son's murder has changed my life in a bitter and sweet way. Um, and by the bitter way, I mean um, in regard to how I feel about the tragedy, about the torture and the murder and the things that they did to my son and, and not understanding what and how someone could take someone else's life. And on the sweet part is the goodness and the love that God has placed inside my heart to um, try to have patience with the legal aspects of everything and also the, the memories of my son is the sweetest part of it.
with the support of family members and friends, we continued to press for justice in the slaying of my brother. Yet the state attorney's office did convict one person involved with his murder. But this does not change the effects of that history. Dean's death has affected my life in many ways. Nor can it bring my brother back. As far as uh, each and every day, you're looking to hear from him or talk to him on the phone and waking up at night anticipating a phone call from him. They have uh, not stopped searching for the other killers that was involved in his murder and I, I pray to God that they find the rest of them but the one that is charged with his murder, we know that he wasn't the only one. So, uh, I just pray that everything come to a conclusion one day in my lifetime. Stop the violence. Use your talent. There are several public service announcements that we're doing that we have in rotation on television. If you're so happy to want to be a part, please visit our website at www.stoptheviolenceuseyourtalents.com or just put in the acronyms, which is stvuyt.com. Again, that's stoptheviolenceuseyourtalents.com or www.stvuyt.com. Stop the violence. Use your talent. One of the most beautiful things in life is to be able to spend time with your loved ones. I lost a brother due to violence. Working as a musician. Using his talent. Stop the violence and use your talent. Use your talent, y'all. Let this be your anthem. <laughs> With one already convicted and sentenced to life in prison for torture and murder, family awaits the others. It was a multitude of killers. Yet one was convicted, but he yet held on the other names that was involved. And I know it was more than one, but no way that one person could have did that to Gene by himself, because he was a fighter. And you know, he gonna let you just take advantage of him, just you know, murder him like they did. It had to be someone else. With the support of the press, we continued to get out the message that we knew it was others involved and we offered a reward. Court documentation and through the streets is that he was murdered um, based on vengeance. Somebody else's um, was seeking revenge on they lost their loved one from what we can understand. It was just a senseless death. Um, he had no reason to fear. My brother was a convicted felony. He was a habitual offender for trafficking crack cocaine, sales and possession. So he was known, he was in and out of the prison system. Well, we went out on 15th Street out east. We put up flyers, we walked the street, we talked to neighbors. My brother was known to be all around Jacksonville. He, he hustled all over, he hustled everywhere he could, but he was predominantly out east Jacksonville off of A. Philip Randolph and Florida Ave. So he was known as a big time hustler and also a rapper. Gene, my nephew was using his talents through singing and rapping and drawing. Versatile. He was just barely touching the surface of the music industry in uh, hip hop. We knew he had talent from the beginning. He was a real good <clears throat> uh, show giver even when he was a child. He was always performed for the whole family. He would never let you down. He would always make you laugh. My grandson, he was very talented. And so we, we took him when he was going to church. And uh, we needed an organist. And uh, the adult organist, he had got another job and left town. And Gene volunteered to do it. And he had been just listening, picking up music, you know, by ear. And he got up in church and he got on the organ. And I mean, he really played. I mean, he started off where he just had one sound, but it fit all the songs that we were saying. And eventually, as he played more and more, the talent grew in playing, especially the organ. He could play the drums. I mean, whatever he put his mind to it, that he could do. And he was, like I said, he sung a little bit too. And don't talk about dancing. 
He didn't do that much down, but Aperture. Psycho was raw talent. He started putting out street mixes in the mid 90s. In 2004, he started working on his album In the Hood, which he was about 80% done before he was murdered. I think Gene used his talent to the best of his, his ability and, and the things that he went through in life is what he rapped about. The, song, the things that he wrote about is what he saw in life and how he felt and what he lived by his eyes and how the world was living and by the things that he went through every day in life. Stop the violence. They say what you do in life will echo in eternity. Well, my brother's lifestyle and his music is still echoing. We will continue to forever miss him, Psycho, Psycho Man, Gene. Stop the violence. This is Rhonda Peoples Waters. I'm a local attorney. I'm Ann Duggar, executive director of the Justice Coalition. You can become anything that you desire to be. You've still got a choice to make. That choice is don't do it. Stop the violence. Use your talent. Stop the violence. Use your talent. Use what it, God has given you, your talent. I hope that everyone is out there being peaceful or creating some type of positive environment wherever that you are. Hope that you're using your talents, whatever it may be, where if it's singing, dancing, rapping, being a doctor, being an educator, whatever it is, I hope that you're reaching one person a day, one person at a time. We can change our whole environment. We're back. As you see, we're reaching out, being useful, not giving in. We've been doing this for quite some time. As a grassroots effort, we are reaching out to our community leaders, our celebrity mentors, as well as the youth that are growing. And as we grow, we can create change. Hey, change starts within. And if you can start within, then you can be useful and you can continue to use your talents. We all have talents. Tap into yours. Reaching out to the community. Park involvement. I'm eight and I'm, my name is Trey. I think all the kids, the people with guns and killing stuff should stop and all that. Community activities. Basketball. One of the premier sports. There's so many talented individuals in the National Basketball Association. The NBA. So many role models. Nicole, and I uh, was born out in Naples, Florida. Went to high school up here in Jacksonville. How do you feel about the balance that's going on in Jacksonville? I feel it's uncalled for. Definitely get more, I guess, more recreational types of things going for the kids, um, programs. Um, I'd really think like a kids art show would be good to do positive graffiti. 
instead of doing it on the buildings and on the streets, they should do it in more of a professional art form way, like a gallery, to express themselves. Back to School Supply Giveaway, partnering up with Krizak over at Focus TV, and Don with We Make T-shirts over at Norwood Flea Market. Partnership, support, helping one another give back. You know, sharing my knowledge. That's all. I just gotta look at them now, and make sure they form is up to par, and then they can start playing teams. All right, what? Let me stand in the middle of the court. Up From one heart to another It's the one called that May, a.k.a. Three Style mm. I'ma speak to you a little bit about violence So check this out mm. 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 Have some fun underneath the sun But don't need to pick up a gun Just be disciplined, never be defiant Never surrender up the violence Hey, how's it going? This is Mario Poole from Hitworks Entertainment, Poole and Associates. I want y'all to stop the violence. Stop hating. Stop whining. I want y'all to start grinding and use your talents. We have a lot of opportunities out here for us, y'all. We have to put these guns down and put this violence down. All this stop snitching, no, no, no. If you find out there's crime out there, we need you guys to report it, okay? We losing some lot of young brothers out here. Mario Poole, Hitworks Entertainment. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a coming in. Stop the violence. Before they try get in the sauce in the silence. Stop the violence, put the guns down, man. Because we coming, this is our town, man. Yeah. Stop the violence, S J. Come on. Too many parents going to visit funeral homes. Everybody on the street out abusing the chrome. But see, I got my talent and I'ma use it in song. Let's stop the violence. A A A. Stop the violence, boy, and stay on yourself. Don't let nobody prevent you. To give you a welcome, stop the violence, do what you do. It's me and VIP, man. Stop the violence, crew. This your boy, Nick, man. Straight from VIP, man. Hey, see, we out trying to stop violence. Say, stop the violence. Wait, one more time. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Say, stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Use your talent. Stop the violence. Use your talent, y'all. Stop the violence. That's right. Use your talent. Use them. Stop the violence. Yeah. Use your talent, y'all. From one heart to another. Hey, this is Jamila from Jacksonville. I want to say stop the violence and use your talent. We need, all need to come together and do this thing the right way. Man, we stopping the violence, we keep it moving in Jacksonville, you know we the wildest man. It's J Pimp, man, I'm locking the scene from grind to shine, the love trap doing my thing, man. This is Pastor Clinton Bush with the Institute for Financial Literacy. It's time to stop the violence and use your talent. Look here, we can ready to take this thing to the streets. It's all about our babies. Peace, I'm out. Hey, what's up? My name is Natasha. I just want to represent the Glamour Girls. We want like, everyone to put down the guns and show love to all your brothers and sisters. Hey, what's up? It's Nisa, that versatile one chick representing Duval. Yeah, what's up, y'all? Uh. We've got to stop the violence. Nonviolence is the only way. We've got to work together and love one another. Stop the violence now, now, now. Stop it now. Uh, now let me tell you about a man that we call King. He was a great person that should have been treated like a king. He fought for our rights so our rights can be equal. In a fight with God, giving up, that's what he'll teach you. Now do you know about a woman that fought for women's rights? Her name is Mary 
church to real and yeah i'm for real she fought so women can vote and she gave her whole life yeah that was an oath uh-huh now do you know about madam cj walker she had super pals and i ain't talking peter parker she turned women from pretty to way more beautiful she made hair forms that made ladies look so beautiful that's including my mom and the ladies of this earth and kids no playing cause this is jesus turf and i get back with you on the next verse thank you black americans for saving our earth Stop the violence, use your talent, stop the violence, use your talent, show. A day yeah, of yeah. faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Faith is the substance yeah, of things yeah. hoped for, the evidence of things yeah, not yeah. seen. Faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We hope for a better day. Not just one day of faith, but every day is a day of faith. Faith without works is dead. We need to see works. Enough said. What goes through your mind when you see your leaders? If you could reach out and grab them and touch them, what would you say to them? Communication is the key. Partnership. Communication. For my family, we look on. We living in color. Again, enough said. Faith without works is dead. Every day is a day of faith. reaching out we're reaching out to you a day of faith every day is a day of faith seeds well plant them in the right ground and maybe you'll see seeds of change as they grow things right now with our grassroots efforts of uh, reaching out to the community even with our television show with stop the violence use the tv show and also for several years we've been in the communities and we've been working with the Stop the Violence Usual Talent and uh, the hip hop community has been coming together. Jacksonville, this is what it's all about. The youth are behind us. We're here to represent the hip hop and the youth community to let the politicians, police and the pastors know that we're gonna be held accountable, but we're also reaching out a hand to you guys to say, look, we can be effective with the financial and the uh, logistical resources to help these youth right here so that we may grow and not only be a part of the better Jacksonville plan, but be a part of the better Jacksonville people plan. This is Sarge signing out. Go forth and do what God has called us to do. Help the lost sheep stay away from the bees and walk humble and meek. Teach the children to obey the commands from on high. Trust in Jehovah Jireh to provide for thy Jehovah Sabaoth to be your host and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Your heavenly host and never let go. Never let go. Persistence day by day in this world. You know I just don't wanna be too distant. Let us to keep putting up resistance Persistence Day by day in this world You know I 
just don't want to be too distant So I'm going to serve you now this instance In the midst of this song, oh Lord, I pray For your assistance to guide me each and every day Tell me what to do and what not to say I might have clarity in your will and never go astray So as the Spirit leads me in the endeavors that I do I honestly trust in God, for He will see me through I will continue to keep on striving in what you have me do I will trust in you Assistance day by day in this world. You know, I just don't want to be too distant. Let us still keep putting up resistance. Resistance day by day in this world. You know, I just don't want to be too distant. So I'm gonna serve you now this instance. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Stop the Violence Use Your Talents television show. You can reach us on Facebook. You can reach us online through our website. You can go on www.stoptheviolenceuseyourtalents.com, all spelled out, or either use the acronyms, which is stvuyt.com. Never stop, winners keep going continuously. Are you feeling me? Huh. A positive mental attitude, sound physical health, put you in the right mood. Oh yeah. Harmony in human relations, freedom from fear, cause God made creation. What a sensation, hope a future achieve.